This looks like scalp. Mm -mm. What's up, babe? Jumping right into the video. Hey, y'all. Okay, if y'all are new here, first of all, welcome. Sorry that you had to meet me in this form all right but that's okay anytime you come here and you see me in a wig cap you already know what time it is and for sunflower gang what's up welcome back so happy that you guys are here we're gonna jump right into this video now you guys know hair vivi is my number one hair company at this point in time i kept saying top three top five y'all hair vivi takes the cake i have been reviewing wigs for quite some time and as you guys can see the packaging is literally immaculate okay Okay, when I tell you one of the best, most sturdy boxes, I'm one of those girls that will hold on to a box unnecessarily, okay? <laughs> and Hair Vivi gives me a reason to uh, properly store my wigs. As you guys can see, the packaging is beautiful, comes with this lovely ribbon. Of course, I had a trouble actually taking the box off of itself just because it was that compact tight and well made i mean it was like is this made out of brick what's happening okay but of course as soon as i open this up the first thing that you get is just a reminder to tell you the things that you want to check for before you actually install this just to make sure that your unit is ready to wear now we all know if for any reason you get a unit and it is not as described do not press go do not press go don't pass go okay make sure that you reach out to hair vivi immediately they have no problem with customer service so just quickly reach out so that you can get exactly what you asked for um and then of course once we're past that step y'all know we're gonna break the seal on it and this is my favorite part like I just feel like the amount of detail they put into this, y'all know wigs are not cheap. And if you're gonna have them, you wanna have them for years, right? So every little detail matters. So we break open the packaging just to get into some of the goodies. Now, of course they give you like a thank you card, thank you for purchasing, all that good stuff. Um, of course, if there are any coupon codes, I will list them down in the description box. There will also be a direct link to the actual unit that I'm gonna be using in today's video. And then of course, you. You get to the goodies now i love that they have like designed these small silk bags specifically for their extras so you'll get like an edge brush that has uh that rectal comb on it which i love okay because you really don't need a full comb to do the install they also give you some clips in there which is really going to make this a throw on and go type of process so when you're spending this kind of money on wigs you don't want to have to think about nothing okay i want to purchase it be able to throw it on and go and so, of course, they have actually added something new. Um, I noticed this cute little bag, and I'm like, hmm, what can be in here? Y'all, they have a silk wrap, okay? You know, typically, you get the elastic band, you throw that on. They have a silk version of this. Now, me, I'm just like, I can be a bit, you know anal about certain things now i don't want to ruin the silk so for me this would definitely be a tool that i would use to like push my hair back out of the way while i'm doing my makeup while my wig is already installed or i would probably use it when of course like i'm washing my face i don't really want the hair to be kind of pulled forward and you know just all that so i'll be using this <laughs> headband for matters of that i will not be using this to actually lay down the wig just because it just seems so precious okay <laughs> and i'm also going to show you that you don't really need anything let me just get into the wig okay let's get into it and then of course you guys know one of my favorites they have the true scalp tape which is going to take all of the leg work out of it you literally will never need a cap again all that you would do is place this on the inside of your lace and then of course it is literally going to give you the effect of scalp just make sure that those braids are flat and you are good to go they do have an assortment of colors in case this natural beige doesn't work for you now of course once i pull this out i already know i'm like okay they have already pre-curled this the knots are pre-bleached it's pre-plugged i don't have to do a thing except throw this on and go so taking a look at the hair the first thing that i noticed is the texture now again all the details will be in the description box but y'all this truly mimics a natural silk press they also went ahead and created edges that are a little bit more realistic so closer to african-american textured hair i know how my hair looks when i silk press it we still gonna have a little couple curls that we couldn't quite get without burning ourselves and that's okay so give your hair a break and tap into hair vv's 
new and improved unit. I just love the luster. Look at the texture on this, the shine. It looks like a natural sheen. It's not overly shiny. It's just gonna be a lot more believable, which is why I'm so excited to get this installed for you. Now, of course, I have to get into the cap because their cap construction is what makes them my number one hair company. Of course, they do have the glueless caps that are gonna be fitted. Not only are you gonna get a realistic hairline each and every time, but the caps are truly glueless and fitted. So of course, there's combs included, you have an elastic band, and the cap itself is adjustable. You guys, if you need to do the measurements and for whatever reason you're having trouble doing it yourself, if you visit my forevercrissy.com website, I actually show you how to properly measure your hair for these wigs. So definitely make sure to utilize that tool if you need to, but y'all, I'm ready to install, okay, because <laughs> the hair is calling my name. So y'all know, we're gonna jump right into this. Literally, all that I have is a wig cap. Now, that's something that Hair BB doesn't actually give you, is wig caps. If you guys have been watching me for a minute, then you would know I would never install my Hair BB units with a wig cap. I just simply did not need it, and you definitely don't need it because they have the True Scout tape. So I've decided I prefer to install my wigs using the actual wig cap, and I don't know why I do it, it's just for extra security. It's just how I feel. I like that snug fit, but I use that and then I just lay my True Scalp tape directly on top of my wig cap just because it's just something I like to do. You guys don't have to do that. Literally throw this True Scalp tape on the inside. You guys can go through the playlist. I have a ton of videos showing you how to lay it on the inside of the Hair BB cap and y'all throw it on and go. So of course I have the wig here. And the length is like perfect. I don't feel like this needs to be a 20, 25 inch. I wanted something that was gonna be a little bit more natural. That way it would kind of give the illusion of like, girl, Chrissy, you straighten your hair. <laughs> Okay, now the one thing that I will say about the Hair VB units, I always, always notice that it does have a smell. The smell is not one that's like, ew, like what's going on? But it is for sure a smell of like perfume. So whatever conditioner they use, it definitely has a stronger smell. If you don't care for it, absolutely wash and condition your units, allow it to air dry. It's gonna be ready to be styled. I mean, you won't have to do much anyway, but just a heads up, cause I know y'all are like, what does it smell like? <laughs> so because I know that I am confident and happy with the unit, I'm ready to cut off the tag. So I'm gonna go ahead and just snip, snip it. <laughs> Look, I snipped a little too quick. All right, it hit the flow. Anyway, so yeah, let me go ahead and I just love this. Like, it's just so soft and, yes, it's giving the vibe. Now, I'm not going to adjust the cap for the nape area. All that I'm going to worry about is the elastic um, band part. And what I also love is that there's this grip on the elastic band, so you don't have to worry about it sliding back. I just feel like, like I said, it's just the small details that, like, you don't get out of most units. Obviously, I'm still gonna continue to work with other companies just because I know that everybody cannot afford a wig like this. But if you are looking to really invest and have something long-term, Hair VV is gonna be the way to go. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, the lace is blending in with my skin complexion. I'm loving it. Loving, I'm loving it. <laughs> Look at these edges. I cannot. Y'all, I can't even make this up. Y'all, I mean, fully plucked. Every little detail, like there's these small little hairs that I would even wanna take like a hot comb and like try to get them like straight, you know? But it almost, it just helps with that more natural look because of course, just naturally we all sweat, right? So if you just got a silk press and your edges starts to kind of revert a little bit, that's what it's giving. <laughs> that's what it's giving. Y'all, this looks so good and I have not even cut off the lace. What? Hair VB. Don't ever send me a regular straight wig again. This is all I want. Like, what? Oh, yeah. I gotta show y'all this up close. I 
cannot like I want to do like a half up half down oh this is the hair for the weekend baby this is too much this is you guys have outdone yourselves and I know like please don't think I'm being dramatic I have been reviewing wigs for years okay years this is, I've, I probably have, I can count them out, <laughs> y'all. So I have about 10 to 12 hair VV units. This is the best one, hands down, just off of the texture alone. It's not overly kinky. It's not overly, like, for the kinky edge type of natural realistic look. It's not overly done. Very simple. The lace quality on point, the plucking, the bleach knots, the fit of the cap. Y'all, 10 out of 10. And I have not even fully installed this yet. I can't. So let me stop doing so much talking and let's get into the install. Now, if you need to kind of customize this a little bit, don't be afraid to literally cut a little bit of extra hair off on each side, don't be afraid to do that. There we go, boom. So I got it matching my natural hairline now and it even helped the cap lay even better. <laughs> Y'all, I can't make this up. I can, <laughs> like how snug this feels and I have not done anything to it. This is crazy. <sighs> I just, I love, I love it. Like, listen, we're here. It's gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'ma just, I know cause sometimes they're like, Chrissy, how do you cut? Somebody actually asked me, how do I cut off the ear flaps if you're wearing glasses? Y'all, let me try to do this with glasses, just so I can do this for you, boo-boo. I already have my contacts in. If you don't know, y'all, I cannot see without glasses or contacts. So I don't also recommend wearing glasses on top of wearing contacts, but I'm just gonna do it specifically for that one subscriber that said, girl, how do I cut my wigs <laughs> while wearing glasses? So go ahead and just take down this flap right here. If I were you, I would sit my glasses not over my ears. I can't even see right now because it's just so like, ugh. but I can feel. So I know what's going on. I'm keep my eyes closed because it hurts. <laughs> so anyway, I would literally put it over my ears. So not like sitting behind your ear because you need to be able to feel that. Just enough so you can see because all you need is the glass. And then I would literally feel where my ear was. Try to pop it out if you can. If you can't, don't worry. And then I would go ahead and start to fill. You can literally see here. So this is a good rule of thumb. Where does your hair stop? So I would take the comb, sit it right below, a little bit under where your actual hairline starts around your ear, lay that comb down. So now you can see exactly where that needs to be cut. Put your finger there replace it with the comb. You saw how I just brought it from underneath. Keep that diagonal motion. Don't make it straight. Don't turn it. Keep that diagonal motion. You can still see with them glasses, okay, girl? <laughs> and literally use the comb to part out that piece of hair. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you see we got a little part going. So we know, okay, boom, I need to cut it right there. So I would do it. It's so crazy. I can kind of see a little bit. <laughs> Y'all, don't laugh at me. I cannot. I'm doing this for her. Like, boo, I got you. Okay, don't judge. Anyway, <laughs> so I would go ahead and you can start from the front if you need to. If you really need to, like, clip this up even more, just so y'all can see it. Look, I'm here to help, okay? Let me be your, <laughs> let me be your muse. All right, and then just start to cut it. Boom, we got it, all right? You don't wanna make a mistake and cut the cap, so always stop once you get to the back of your ear, lift it up, cut it off, boom. All right, let me take these glasses off because that was giving me a headache. <laughs> but yes, and then you can literally push it behind your ear. I have kind of small ears, so you just pop it out and 
don't be ashamed oh okay we got a little stuck don't be ashamed if you have some extra hair that comes off like this is not the company's fault <laughs> you literally just cut the hair and if you didn't do it perfect sometimes you may get like a couple of fuzzies right here it's not a big deal your natural hair is not perfect like let's be honest okay nobody's hairline is perfect but as long as you don't cut into it and it's like choppy that would be the only thing I would be worried about, but it looks really good. So we're good. That's it. And I would just literally bring the hair down. Even pulling it back, it feels snug. Oh, I love this. So all that I'm going to do from here is pull back any of the edges that we have. And I'm just going to cut around them because I actually want to keep them. If you want to get rid of them and you feel like it's just too much and you're more here just for the texture, I get it. I totally get it. But I kind of want to keep it because I like the way that it looks. So we don't have to do any laying down beforehand. We're just going to cut off that lace. Mm, look at that scalp. Look at that. Now the flap is laying down, but if you really look closely, you can still kind of see it's a little lifted right here. Just a teeny tiny bit. So if you wanted to take a little bit of hairspray and pop it there, I'm gonna do that just because baby, we not taking this one off. Like, well, I'm gonna take it off tonight, but it's going back on in the morning. <laughs> and to reinstall it, all that I would do instead of caking it up with hairspray, I would take a little bit of mousse, sit it right there, hit it with the blow dryer. Y'all, it's gonna restick like nothing ever happened. Oh, I just love this. Mmm. 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 Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Look at this hairline. Look at the... I haven't even styled it. All right, so let's go ahead and get this out the way. I want to make sure that it's really tacked down. I'm not even going to do this all the way around because there's no need. The lace is blending, melting into my skin. The only thing I want to focus on is the sides. So I got my Bronner Brothers Pump It Up, Support a Black Business, okay? Has been around for over 76 years, okay? Cheers to that. And I'm just going to use a foundation brush to literally just spray this directly on here. This is more like a, I would use this for like a moisturizer or something, but anyway, it's clean. Go ahead and just spray it directly on there. I'm going to do this over a towel because I don't want it to get on my mic and all this stuff because this sticks in like 30 seconds. The real 30 second hair glue, okay? <laughs> all right. And so I'm just going to take this and sit it right underneath the cap. It's going to get tacky in a matter of seconds. I'm going to pull the cap as tight as I can. And then over the top of that, I'm just going to dab it with my brush. Just to melt it in even further. And you just hold it. Literally just hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's stuck not going anywhere <laughs> that's a 30 second hair glue okay a 10 second hairspray for any reason you feel like you need extra security i sometimes like to do this on the back as well just underneath just because obviously you don't want to just lay down the front right you want to make sure that you did it around the sides of the hair as well especially if you think you want to wear this like pulled back you definitely want to make sure it's laid down and secure Cool, cool. So we're just going to wait it out. We got do a little bit more here and count to 10. Okay, count, 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 count. <laughs> Have y'all heard of that song? Probably not. Okay. Now, if you feel the need to go around the hairline with it, y'all, don't let me steer you out of doing something you want to do for yourself. I'm here as a guide. Go ahead and tap that thing if you really want to. <laughs> Just a little tap, tap, tap. A little goes a long way. And that's it, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and do this on the other side. So I'm gonna just flip it up. 
And this time I'm gonna make sure that it's a little bit further back. You can even put it directly on the lace if you really want it to. Just be mindful. You don't want the hair to kind of get stuck. So I'm just do it that way. And then literally just hold that baby down. Count it out. Check Instagram. If y'all are not following me there, what are you doing? Follow me on TikTok. I've been finding out that now so many people are like, Chrissy, I didn't even realize you were on TikTok. I've been following you for years. Girl, where you been? Get on TikTok, okay? <laughs> Stop playing. Stop playing, okay? Oh, yeah. I love it. I can just feel the tackiness. Voila, y'all, the wig is installed. All you gotta do now is brush out these curls. I have not even turned on my hot tools. Let's see what it looks like without using my own hot tools while they heat up. Now, I definitely wanna go ahead and get rid of a lot of that like shed hair that may have gotten caught up when we trimmed off the edges or the sides. So just go ahead and make sure you brush that out. And then because this hair was pre-styled, y'all know you're gonna get a nice little soft wave. Y'all can see it hit right underneath the boob. So it's giving very much 16, 18 inch <laughs> realness. I'm 5'2", in case y'all are wondering. Oh, hoo -hoo, look at that. <laughs> oh, stop playing with me, hair VV. I can, I can't make this up. <laughs> They have already even laid down the edges. I can tell. I just know styled wig. Like, <sighs> y'all, not only did they pre-pluck it, pre-bleach it, they pre-styled the wig. They hit the hot comb with the edges. Amen. Amen to progression. Our ancestors would be proud because I know they've been wearing wigs, okay? Hair VB would be my only hair competition if I started doing my custom wigs again, like just being completely honest, because <laughs> the girls are not doing it like this. They are not fully installed. You don't have to do anything. Literally, it took a five minutes to cut off the lace, hold down the little edges, which you didn't even have to do with the hairspray, brush out the hair just to, you know, see what it's doing. That's it, that's all. If you feel the need to hit this with the hot comb to get it super fleek, <laughs> fleek, <laughs> sleek, y'all know that's what I'm gonna do. But if you are a girl that is just like, Chrissy, I just want a nice wig, something I can throw on, go, it's already, all the work has been done for me, this is the unit for you, truly. And y'all, there's already layers, okay, in the unit. You guys can see the texture, how shiny it is, bouncy, flowy, doing all the things. The hairline, 10 out of 10. We got that middle part going. If y'all wanted to do a side part, you absolutely could. If you do the side part, obviously, I would just move that true scalp tape over. You don't even really have to complete, be completely honest just because the lace is so transparent. As long as you have some nice little sleek cornrows underneath, you should be good. All right, now, if you guys are curious as to how I really lay this down and get into it, keep watching. I'm not going to talk. We're just going to get into the style.
we are done i have pretty much like just flattened out the top threw a couple curls in it all that i'm gonna do is add a little bit of shine mix that with a little bit of hairspray and this is also the bonner brothers diamond shine Y'all, this looks, and the texture, I just love how it does not feel overly silky. Like, no shade. I like my silky styles, but I am truly a girl that just appreciates African-American hair textures. There's nothing like it. Nobody else can do it, okay? They're going to have to get it in a wig because <laughs> it's looking good, all right? And all that I'm going to do is take some hairspray. This is the Mazzani Styling and Finish Polish. Um, it's like a one hold, so on a scale of one to four, it says it's one. So it's nothing too, too crazy, but just enough to kind of help hold the curls a little bit better than like a kinky straight might do. Typically, y'all know with kinky straight hair, it's going to hold that curl just like your natural hair would. But because this does look a little bit more, who is giving that silk? Okay, I just want to make sure. So just a little bit there, a little bit here, same here. Don't talk and do this because, oh, girl, okay. All right, and then I'm going to just do the comb back. Mm-hmm. And that hairspray is just going to hold everything lightly in place without being, you know, give you that polished look. And y'all see, you can just use that hairspray to literally place the curls wherever you want them. Don't be scared. A little goes a long way. We are good. Let me go ahead and just like, let me give y'all a final look. Glueless install. Oh, I can't. Look at this. Stop playing. Okay. Glueless. You don't even have to think about it. Hair VB always going to be a 10 in my book. Okay. 10 out of 10. Texture. This texture is not so bright. Like, it's so subtle. And it's just like, this is what I would want my quick weave to look like. If I was going to have some leave out, because y'all know I don't really do the sew-ins, but clip-ins, quick weave, y'all. Is this a quick weave? I might have to do some clickbait. I got to start clickbaiting my videos. I see. I see how the girls do it. <laughs> uh, y'all, I am in love. Of course, you already know. I do have a grading rubric that's going to go over things like quality, price, style, packaging, and how custom it is. Most of the time, a hair VV gets a 10 out of 10, and this time is truly no different. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a detailed talk through. Leave any comments or questions down below. You guys know I love you so much. Stay pretty. And of course, I will see you in my very next video. Bye, babies.